The honorary degree will now be conferred. Mr. President, will you present the honorary degree candidate, Nancy McKinstry? Mr. Chancellor, it is my privilege to introduce Nancy McKinstry, a dynamic and far-seeing business leader who serves her community with intelligence, grace, and generosity. Throughout her career, Nancy McKinstry has focused on one goal, to help others excel. And after many years spent in retail and marketing, Nancy joined Audlem Brown Limited where her unique approach to investment counseling reflected her belief in building relationships built on trust and mutual respect. As a director, and subsequently as vice president, she has nurtured the talent and energy of many and inspired them to achieve their full potential. Recognizing the need for education in money management, she designed courses to inform women about investing and retirement planning, and also created the Young Investors Club that educates children in the basic concepts of wise investment. A determined advocate of women in the workplace, Nancy has also worked selflessly on issues such as pay equity, share ownership, and fair representation of women in decision making. She brings that same sense of commitment and purpose to her work in the community. And peers describe Nancy's dedication to this province as compelling and contagious. She has served as United Way Leadership Chair for Audlem Brown Limited, as a governor of the Vancouver Stock Exchange. Respected for her wise counsel, she was appointed a member of the Mayor's Task Force and to the City Planning Committee for Vancouver. She has also sat on the BC Housing Commission Advisory Board and was Director for the Western Wom Business Women's Association. Perhaps the culmination of her many contributions to the public good came in 1999 when she became one of the founders of the Minerva Foundation, whose purpose is to help women achieve their educational and professional goals. From its inception, she has been the catalyst for such far-reaching programs as the Minerva Foundation Awards and the Minerva Leadership Conference. For her sustained efforts on behalf of British Columbians, she was presented with BCIT's Distinguished Alumni Award for Community Service in 2003. Mr. Chancellor, in honor of her long and distinguished service to the community, I ask on behalf of the Senate of the University that you now confer upon Nancy McKinstry the degree Doctor of Laws honoris causa. Nancy McKinstry, by virtue of the authority vested in me and in the Senate of this university, I hereby admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Clausa. Dr. McKinstry will be hooded by Dr. John Waterhouse, Vice President Academic. It is with pleasure that I now call on Dr. Nancy McKinstry for her convocation address. Chancellor Milton Wong, President Stevenson, distinguished guests and faculty, and most importantly, graduates. Thank you very much 
for the honorary degree that you have given me today. I am humbled and it is with much gratitude that I receive it. Today's convocation marks a pivotal point in your lives. At this point of transition, you have an opportunity to celebrate what has been, to acknowledge the wisdom and experience you have gained, and to reflect on your future. I want us to think together today about success and what it means and how one defines it. I have just recently retired from my career of 21 years in the investment business. And so, like you, I have been evaluating my life to this point, acknowledging what has been accomplished in the past and establishing some goals for the future. It was interesting to look up the definition of success. I found two. The first definition I did not totally agree with. A success is somebody who has had significant achievements. Someone who has a record of achievement, especially in gaining wealth, fame, or power. I think that this definition misses the defining characteristics of success in my mind. The most important achievements for me have been the respect and friendship of my colleagues, clients, associates, family and friends, not the rewards and recognition. I have found that commitment to a job well done and performing that job with a passion and joy has given me immeasurable personal satisfaction. The second definition I found more closely hits the mark. Success is something that turns out well, something that turns out as planned or intended. This is far more meaningful for me. I am a planner who sets out on a very organized path to achieve my goals. Determination, some might call that stubbornness, a genuine curiosity, and an acknowledgement and directed use of one's skills will nurture success. A personal example of success for me was taking a gem of an idea and creating the Minerva Foundation for BC Women into an influential force in the women's community throughout the province. I have always been a great believer in the power of people, and women in particular. When I became aware of the issues affecting women in our province, I was compelled to do something about it. A group of friends and business associates gathered together and the Minerva dream was born. In developing a strategy and purpose for the Minerva Foundation, we examined the needs of the women's community at large and carefully selected the areas of concern where we felt we could make the most impact and positively affect the lives of women and children. We did this with the belief that if women feel safe and are given the opportunity to advance themselves, that society in general would benefit. The author Pamela Starr says it better than I can. Reach high, for stars are hidden in your soul. Dream deep, for every dream precedes the goal. Those founding members of the Minerva Foundation dared to dream. Attaining your goals while adhering to your values and vision will sow benefits to you and the communities in which you live and work. It is only when we honor our values and align our life with them that we will achieve success. A Japanese proverb that captures this message goes as follows. Vision without action is a daydream, and action without vision is a nightmare. Use your success to further your vision. Use your success to lever the resources and talents of the people who support and encourage you. By doing this, we will truly be able to impact the world and leave the mark that we are meant to leave. Success breeds success. Self-awareness is the element that will fuel your growth. Self-awareness is the foundation from which personal leadership develops and matures. It is only with a deep understanding of self that we can achieve fulfillment, awaken our passion, and discover our dreams. 
Self-awareness is continuous. We never stop learning. We never stop learning about who we are and what we are capable of achieving. Most importantly, always strive to be the best you can possibly be and never let the goal overshadow your journey. On my recent retirement, a good friend sent me an email that I thought I would share with you. She wrote, life is not a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. Good luck to you all. I wish you a great ride and much success. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McKinstry.